oh, am I too late to learn programming mm. and stuff like that. But she's not expert, but still she tried it out and she could make an app. So I'm pretty sure like no matter how old you are, mm. you will be able to achieve what you want to achieve. This is the Ellie and Lee show. show. Okay, for today, we're gonna talk about Wakamiya Masaku. Masaku Wakamiya. Okay. Who is she? <laughs> yeah, who is she? Why are we talking about her? Mm. It's because recently oh. I read a book called The Order You Are, The More Fun You Get in Life. Mm, that seems counterintuitive. I just read it because the title was somewhat interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And actually, this book kind of changed my life. Oh, wow. The views yeah. that I see the world. So I just wanted to share this to you. Okay. Guys, <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this podcast. It's really inspiring story. Mm. So let's get started. Yay! 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 Okay, so who is she? she sounds Japanese. She's <laughs> no, she's Korean. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, she's Japanese. She's actually a developer, but she is 82 years old. Like a programmer? Yeah. Oh. App developer. 82. So she, yeah, 82. <laughs> inspiring, right? <laughs> Well, if she's always been a programmer, then... No, 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 no. Yeah. She had a different job. What did so she do before? She was a banker in Mitsubishi Bank. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big bank in Japan, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Actually, she didn't know how to use computer before she retired, mm. which is 60. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. After her retirement, mm -hmm. she had to take care of her mother. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I guess, think that family mm. is really healthy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a really good thing. <laughs> if she retired, but her mother's still yeah. around. Then... So, but her personality mm -hmm. is outgoing, and okay. she didn't want to be at home all the time. Yeah. But, but she had to, and she also wanted to communicate with others. That's why she got into computer. Mm. She first learned about how to use computer, yeah. and then she joined an online community called Mellow Club. What was that about? Club. I, I don't really know much about it. But, mm. And from there, like she started to learn like new things and that was the start of her learning. Mm. Yeah, it must be crazy to learn something new at, mm. such a, at such an old age. Yeah, she's the oldest app developer. So she created the app called Hinadan. Mm -hmm. It's a traditional Japanese game. Okay. She created this app because she realized that there is no app for elders. Mm. Niche market. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And she got so famous after it, so she was invited to WWDC. Oh yeah, the Apple convention. Mm, Worldwide Developer Conference. Mm -hmm. And she also did TEDx Tokyo talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, mm, so we can check it out later. Mm. So that's why she is quite famous now. Mm -hmm. And then the reason why I thought it's an interesting book mm -hmm. is not only she's the oldest developer. Yeah. It's because the mind she has, it's yeah. really insightful in my opinion. Oh, it shows that like regardless of your age, you can still learn new things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And what drew my attention was she witnessed World War II. Mm. And when I just think about her life as an event, mm -hmm. witnessed World War II, yeah. and then she had a fiancé, but her fiancé had to go to the jail, so they couldn't get married, and then her fiancé later on went abroad, and she had to live by herself, which is kind mm. of, I thought, would be hard to do, because when you think about Japanese society, like, yeah. if you are different from, like, others, then people kind of bother you <laughs> no one bothers you but they judge you oh yeah judge you. yeah so like what a sad life that's yeah. my impression on her life when i only buy events but mm. what she said in the book was that i don't necessarily believe in god but if there is a god mm -hmm. i would like to say thank you that he gives this life to her mm. so that was really impressive because like oh okay so you underwent yeah negative things but you can still be thankful to your life that's what made me change my point of view because mm. i always thought that life is hard 
and there are so much things that I need to overcome and things yeah. like that. But when she talked about it, it was somehow convincing. A different perspective. Because, yeah, but like, but think about the things that she had to go through. Yeah, then again, I think it's really how people perceive things. Yeah, because I think like you can see the negative things in your life as being oh, my life isn't going well, or whatever the case may be. But I think in mm -hmm. her case, she just kept on moving forward and looking for ways to, you know, have a good life, regardless of the, the trouble that she had. Yeah, that's true. Why it was really convincing is that she's in her 80s. Yeah, that's super yeah. old to learn anything. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like, if someone do someone did say in their, like, 30s or 40s, then mm. I might think that, oh, leave more. You might change your thoughts, but like she's in her 80s and I cannot say live more, you would change your thoughts. She already had gone through everything, I would say, mm -hmm. so it was interesting. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe. Yeah, it's an uplifting story because then it shows that, mm. you know, regardless of your age, you can always turn things around and live a happy mm -hmm. life. Because I think a yeah, lot of yeah, people, yeah. like, you know, if they feel they messed up, like when they're 20 mm -hmm. or 30, they feel like, oh, mm -hmm. no, my life is over. There's nothing I can do <laughs> or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then this is a very good case that even when mm -hmm. you're 60, mm -hmm. you can make a change and then, you know, you can still yeah. get a lot of good things in your life. Mm. And for example, people who are in their 30s mm -hmm. might say like that, oh, am I too late to learn programming? Mm. and stuff like that but she's not expert but still she tried it out and she could make an app so i'm pretty sure like no matter how old you are mm. you will be able to achieve what you want to achieve yeah that's true and i think the thing with mm -hmm. programming is like the first mm -hmm. time you approach it it seems really complicated oh yeah but the moment you learn just a little bit because i'm i'm starting to learn programming and I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. Because um, mm -hmm. I, most of the times, I'm looking up how to do things instead of mm -hmm. knowing just, you know, from what I've learned. And mm -hmm. yeah, I've been able to make a few things that mm -hmm. aren't, aren't great in terms of quality, but they work. Mm -hmm. And just like. Yeah, anyway, they worked. So yeah, exactly. That's, just, that's like the that, point. just like that, uh -huh. someone can learn how to do it without what, whatever skills they have they can just make something because I think at the same time that initially programming seems very complicated mm -hmm. but these days there's so many tutorials online and stuff like that I think oh yeah yeah I think it's mm -hmm. really possible for people to learn yeah the opportunity is everywhere yeah it, it's just a matter of how you use that opportunity yeah that's true mm. so yeah and then the reason why she could try it out even though she isn't perfect mm -hmm. is that according to what she said the experience from the world helped her a lot so it made her do things with confidence all the time mm. even though she's not good at it the war the event war is kind it's really big thing in your life right oh yeah definitely compared to war yeah it would never be as bad yeah so maybe that source of her activity mm. it's possible mm. that's the thing if someone gets to a really low point in their life and then they mm -hmm. choose to make a, a change then from that point they know that anything that they do even if it even if they fail a Along the way it's never gonna be as bad as that low point yeah so I guess like from that experience she would get some resilience yeah that's true um, yeah so I think it's a really good story and if you say that it's changed your life then it's definitely mm -hmm. worth for our viewers to check out mm -hmm. um, but at the same time but there is no English book yeah, yeah it's fine. they can watch the TED talk thing but at the same time um, I can kind of understand the perspective in this book because I feel that I didn't do that great in high school and university and mm -hmm. so like now that I'm learning programming it really does seem like I'm on the back foot because I'm learning mm -hmm. just about everything by myself and um, yeah I think the author would motivate people to believe that regardless of when you start you can still do something as long as you put in the time and you know you do something that you think is meaningful to you yeah i agree mm. yes that's true let's be positive in our life and let's have some resilience yay yay please consider liking and subscribing it really helps us out thanks for watching
See you.